so good. Okay, no way! A package from SF! Okay, I gotta open up this up right away. Cannot wait! What? Say something? It's literally, it's just paper in a box. I swear, why would they just send me this? Okay, well, that's lame. Alright, well, that was pretty weird. I'm gonna go inside. Oh! Hey guys, hope everyone's day is going well, and hopefully you guys enjoyed that little doorknob skit. As you can probably guess, today we're going to be doing a review on the SF Yoyos and A-RT doorknob yo-yo. In this video, we're going to find out what I think about this yo-yo, how it like feels on the string, and whether or not it's worth it. Let's jump right in. Okay, so I first just want to talk a little bit about how I actually got this yo-yo. So, the other day, SF DM me this. Do you think you would hate a DK or love a DK? And to that, I just responded, I think I would love a DK. So a few days later in the mail, I got this. And yeah, that's what we're going to be reviewing today. Okay, so just a little background on this yo-yo. So this is a collaboration between SF and A Return Top. So obviously, I I'm sure most of you guys know about both those companies, but if you don't, SF, super like premium yo-yo company, the sponsor players all around. A Return Tops is also an amazing company, and they make some like really unique and like really cool ideas in yo-yos. So both of them are like really cool companies, and so they collaborate and they have made a door and they have made a doorknob. So I'm gonna put the specs on the screen right here. I think you guys should definitely take a close look at them. In the next scene, I'm going to talk a little bit about the actual specs and how they are unique. All right, so most of the specs of the doorknob are like, they're fairly normal, but there were a couple that stood out to me. So let's go over those. Okay, so I got the specs right here on my iPad. So to start, uh, let's look at the diameter. So the SF doorknob has a diameter of 54.5 millimeters, which is just a little bit on the small side from most yo-yos. All right, so next, the weight of this, the weight of this yo-yo. The weight of this yo-yo is an extremely light 62.5 grams, and that is like really, really on the light side. That You don't see many yo-yos of that weight. And obviously that is because uh, the doorknob is actually hollow. Okay, and so then the rest of the specs, they're just pretty standard for a yo-yo. 8mm axle, it's uh, 6061 aluminum, and it has like a blasted finish. So that's, that's pretty normal for most yo-yos. But yeah, there were some specs that were pretty crazy. So yeah, you're, you're gonna see in a little bit how that makes this yo-yo unique. All right, so let's take a quick look uh, around this yo-yo. So the doorknob, it it really does look like a doorknob. It's pretty crazy. So um, let's just, yeah, I'm, I'm not, honestly not really sure where to start. The color of this yo-yo is actually like really beautiful. So this, this color I asked us up, it has not actually been released yet, but I'm pretty sure this is called the Stone Fruit Colorway. So the Stone Fruit Colorway will not be released until around October 1st. But stay tuned for that. But yeah, so the color of this yo is it's honestly so beautiful. It's like this kind of like rose goldish and fade to more of like a pinky, like kind of light pink color, which is just it's amazing. Honestly, I've never had a yo of this color, and it's it's absolutely beautiful. So I love that. The general appearance of this yo is so minimalistic and clean. Like this yo, it it just looks so good. Everything is just like so smooth and perfect, and it's it's honestly just like a work of art. There really is no cup the 
entire cup, I guess, is completely flat, so we don't really need to talk about that. But yeah, honestly, that's about it. This yo-yo is just, it's honestly beautiful, and it's such a unique, like, shape and yo-yo, and it's, I've never, ever tried or even seen a yo-yo that looks like this. Alright, so the feel of this yo-yo is, it is so, so strange. Right off the throw, it feels, like, very, very good. Like, it honestly feels like a really nice, like, you can get a really hard throw with this, and it just overall feels really good. Obviously, this, since this yo-yo isn't, like, meant to be competition-based, it is a little bit unstable at times, but it's honestly more stable than I thought it would be. It actually can, like, power through some pretty, like, crazy tricks, and I was actually really surprised with that. But, yeah, playing with this yo-yo, it is light. I will say that. It is so floaty and light, which is to be expected because of the weight of 62.5 grams, but honestly, it is, like, I was so surprised. It's got this really, really cool feel to it. Like, it just feels like the yo-yo is just like gliding. Everything feels smooth and everything just like feels so perfect. So I honestly like the feel of this yo-yo is unlike any yo-yo I've tried before and I really, really enjoy it. Like it is, it's a whole lot of fun to play around with. The spin time of this yo-yo is actually pretty good. I was very surprised because like this yo-yo is hollow. It has like no rim weight whatsoever, but uh, for some reason it spins for a fairly good amount of time and I was really impressed with that. So honestly, like, um, although it may not be like the longest spinning and the most stable yo-yo, it still can power through a lot of really, really like grueling tricks that I really wasn't expecting it to be that good for that. The gap itself is a lot better than I expected. Obviously for some tricks it can be a little bit difficult to catch, but it still is like totally playable. This yo-yo is actually like very, very good for the shape and the fact that it's a doorknob. But yeah, just like sum up the feel of it, it it's like very, very interesting. You guys really gotta try this yo-yo. Because it's, I mean, it's a doorknob and it plays pretty crazy. It, it can actually do a lot of like its tricks. So I was very impressed with how this one turned out. For grinds, this yo-yo is pretty good. This, the finish of it is insanely smooth. Like it is probably one of the top five most smooth yo's I've ever felt for grinds. So like finger grinds are totally doable. Palm grinds are excellent as well. Um, thumb and talon grinds, that's not possible since there really is no cup. And same thing for finger spins since there's no cup at all. But one thing that I did find, which was a whole lot of fun to do, is horizontal palm grinds. Since this yo-yo is like so like smooth all around of it, you can do some really fun horizontal palm grinds. And honestly, I've just ha have been having a blast creating variations and stuff like that. All right, so let's just talk about like the ideal buyer and like the purposes of this yo-yo. This yo-yo is a doorknob, okay? This it's not meant to be your crazy competition yo-yo that can spin for, you know, like 10 minutes straight or whatever. This yo-yo is, it's just supposed to be a fun throw. And I think that in the yo-yo community, these yo-yos are very, like, you don't find that many, like, yo-yos that are just so much fun to throw around. And they're pretty rare. In the yo-yo community, there's so many of those, like, intense, like, companies are just trying to make, like, the best possible competition yo-yo. And that's perfectly fine. Those are still great yo-yos. But I feel like every now and then we need a yo-yo like this that's just like, it's so much fun to play around with. You know, after a long day or whatever, you just, you sit down with this and it's just fun. It has a crazy feel to it. You can still totally do all your tricks on it. And at the end of the day, you're playing with a doorknob. So it's just, it's a fun yo-yo. It's not meant to do crazy tricks or like your most extreme horizontal combo. It's just meant to have, you're just supposed to have fun with it. And this yo-yo is absolutely perfect for that. Another thing that I really like about this yo-yo is, since it has this unique feel to it, it actually inspires like new tricks. That's one of the reasons why I really like, you know, trying out new yo-yos and buying new yo-yos, is because each yo-yo has a unique feel to it, some more than others. And I feel that when you have a new yo-yo with a new feel, it almost inspires you to create new tricks. I don't know, just like the way that yo the yo-yo moves, it honestly, like when I get a new yo-yo, I almost always create a new trick with that yo-yo just because with playing around with it and it's so different, it inspires creativity in me. And I know I've talked to a lot of my friends about this too, that yeah, the, like when you get a new yo-yo, it's like it's very easy to create new tricks because it just it feels different and it allows you to create new things. So I feel like yo-yos like these are very valuable because they inspire creativity and like help you if you're ever like at a block and you don't know what a, what trick to create. Like yo-yos like these that are so unique and different are very very valuable for that kind of thing. Okay, so that is it for my review of the SF yo-yos and a return tops doorknob. If you guys did enjoy the review, be sure to leave a like, and also if you're new here and haven't seen my videos before, definitely hit that subscribe button because I post videos just about every single week. I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Peace.